large battle. No, I fear I'll have to wait this one out anyway. Jake, could you take a break so I can get a sandwich? Hmm, not a bad idea actually. I need to take a couple minute break here. I will be right back. Groovy. Uh, where were we? Oh yeah, just chilling out until we can fight Bachmanners again. We can't actually guarantee and remove guarantee on them to bypass that truce timer. So sadly that's eight years of not much. Unless of course we turn on Malwa. Stability is so expensive, it's actually probably better for me to take that and then undo it twice. Yeah, there is no need for reforms. Inflation is high, and now inflation is... Oh, let's just imagine we got a bad event. Inflation is very low. Jake, what manner of sandwich did you make or get? No, no, someone from the chat was asking for... Uh, time to get a sandwich, and I needed a water break while we were at it, so two birds, one well-placed stone. Let's also grab that manpower needs to recover mission, since not much is going on. I could probably even speed five this, nothing's happening. Could probably also not pay my troops, because nothing's happening. You know, that's how stack wipes happen, but... Live dangerously. This is one point where playing on Iron Man kind of hurts, because we could blitz through this time in, well, no time. Unfortunately. Hmm. Yes, unfortunately it has the autosave very often, so there's little we can do about that. Honestly, I would want to feed Pia Pure up as fat as I can get them from these provinces. And, yeah, they already have two cores that we can grab. I should probably claim these and more around this area. Like these ones, so that our friend Malwa can't get in our way. We have plenty of time to do that. In fact, we probably have time to claim all of these before it's time for war. Jake, disband mercs while you're at it. Mmm... Hesitant to do that, because if we had an uprising, I'd have to throw my regulars at them. And again... Then again, they cost me valuable money. If there's one thing I don't like doing, it's hemorrhaging money. Our friends up north are further at war, they didn't feel the need to call us in, which was very nice of them, because we'd fail our mission. It means they grow stronger, but that means they're going to be harder to fight, and when we fight Mal, we'll be fighting Gujarat as well. No matter how good your ally, always have a plan to kill them. Hmm. 
You know what? It would actually be better for me just to boost that. Wait for the turn of the year, and then I'm going to save myself 30 points anyway. So I saved myself 30 dip, plus however many months of that there is. September, October, November, December. So yeah, we saved ourselves a good chunk. Oh wow, even more. Yeah, that was a no-brainer. Good thing I'm so incredibly smart. There we have more trade efficiency and trade range. That's also useful because it allows us to get to Malacca. So we can transfer trade power of Malacca using our Goa individual and keep that dosh flowing. Ceylon's a good node. Unfortunately, misses out on the uh, western part of India. And all is well. Except I'm forgetting lots of things, but there's nothing new there. Need to be able to block off our allies here. This guy's even building up. It's like he wants to scare me a bit, but that's alright. I won't be intimidated. Really, all I see him saying is, please kill me, Jake. Even getting a halfway decent uh, religious unity at this, uh, this rate. Haven't even had a chance to look at her ideas since we've unlocked none of them. Tax is so-so, I could give or take it. But yearly prestige is something that I will never really be able to overstate the worth of. It's just so good. Hmm. Cochin's nice and all, but it's not an accepted culture province. I should be focusing on high base tax provinces that are in the accepted culture group since I can get them done 2% faster which means twice as fast given our current levels because what is addition and multiplication? Not things taught in Sweden. I'm a little hesitant to claim their capital since capitals are 20% more expensive to take on the peace table anyway. Great capital, mind, but here's the thing, as long as I take these provinces, I'll have their uh, provinces isolated anyway, so I can just pick them apart in my own time. And trust me, I will be only too happy to do that. One could also say, high time I built some buildings. We have the money, and we lack the manpower. It's really nice that most buildings are no longer dependent on culture. Like, for example, buildings that gave you plus one tax, you would want to stick them on provinces of an accepted culture, otherwise you would lose 15 or 33% of that. Now most of the bonuses are percentage-wise, so you don't even have to worry about it. Also, marketplaces go in centers of trade. That's just common sense. Of course, we already have the bulk of the power here, but what's the point in power if you don't strive for more power? Alright, our good old province of Jinj wish to rise up again don't want to just accept that, but... <laughs> I'll 
probably forget it otherwise, won't I? Oh, I can keep my eyes on it. I miss the times when this uh, Rebel Uprising flag would appear at 80%. It was more noticeable. You would see it and go, oh, I need to act. You see it at 50 and think, ah, oh, it's just 50. You look away and then you look back and, oh god, they're revolting. Nah, that's nice and all, but I wish to do this. Seems a bit of a waste to lose a few months, but probably better since we'll get good money's worth from it. Is loser talk. Glorious. Create an army for our nation it is fairly tempting, but our force limit's probably quite high. Very high indeed. Well, all the more reason to do it. That, that doesn't make any sense at all, but I'm going to do it anyway, since we are going to want uh, the numbers. I wish for one of you, and probably like ten of you. Still might not be enough, but we'll roll with it. No, Hiswani, not today, not any day. And I hope this guy keeps living. Oh, as for our heir, I hope they so stop living rather swiftly. Hm. Easy peasy. Except I should probably pay them. This money is crazy. Don't deserve it, to be honest. What's also crazy is how nobody's cared about my rampant expansion. When I was ripping Vijayanagar to death, all the Hindus down here were up in arms about it, but... Then I just ate all the Hindus, and there was no more problem. This game teaches you some really profound things sometimes. What do we got? Ten and one. I can roll with that. There's my kind of mission. Make yet more money. Jake, did you forget to release that vassal? You'd be forgiven for thinking that, because there's more or less the same colour as me. But no, be a pure is there. And it's almost time to ruin Bachman as his day again. Their total annexation cost is 185. So yeah, I reckon we'll be leaving them with all the internal provinces here. Which does mean taking a province or two that is... Well, maybe we can get away without calling in our ally. No, even better. We can beat them to the punch. This does mean I'm going to want to preemptively get these up because I'll be pulling out my uh, my troops, but that's okay. And we still beat you silly on the tech front. So yes, I want you up there so that you are ready to jump on these provinces before our good friend. Sad music usually uh, comes before something terrible happening to my country, so what's it going to be this time? Also, am I paying these guys? Well, I'm making so much money anyway. Ambush the 13 stack, Jake. You make a good point, but not a great point. No, it is a good point. In fact, it might even be a great point. What I can do then is get military access from both of my allies, have units ready to jump all of these provinces, including their not paid for fort slash forts. Now we will have all four of these taken care of. 
And I'll have you down here. We'll ambush the 13 stack, I also need another unit down here to jump on that fort whilst it's not paid for. And I need to make sure I declare war just after the turn of the month or else I'll make the same mistake that I often do. Bahar is just grasslands, so there are going to be no problems here. Ah, Callum, good to see you. I hope you are well. Alright, enough of this sad music. Let's get something a bit more rockin'. That is not rockin'. Ah, The Highlander. One of my favourite tracks from uh, EU3. No bias there at all. You know, we have plenty to ambush them anyway. 16 is more than enough, especially with our technological prowess. Professional officers will just make it that bit more of a curb stomp. But that's okay. You deserve a barracks as well, because if there's anywhere that's, anywhere that's likely to get built up, it's you. Well, let's celebrate. One issue is, my allies are in another war, so they're unlikely to join in here. And if they don't join in, then my troops will get exiled. On the flip side of that, if they uh, don't join in, then I don't have to worry about them taking land which I want. Mm. I mean, we've got... 2002. Okay, no, they would join as long as they don't get a bit more exhausted. And let's be honest, what are they fighting? Oh, they're fighting Bengal. That's okay. They wouldn't consider Bengal in this declaration anyway. Hmm. John Pure made a bit of a comeback, even though they went bankrupt earlier. Impressive, but they'll still die. Where did all these cogs come from? Oh well, not to worry. I'll probably get them over to <coughs> get them over to Malabar there. Okay, it's just about go time. Our troops are paid for, our forts are up. Our rebel factions are bubbling away. Uh, he built up a few more units. I know... We oh, Theologian. I've been needing you for a while. I know you're expensive, and my mission is to accumulate money. I'll get you at a later date. Hope I can beat you, actually. Actually, nah, we'll be fine. Just need a bit of faith in myself. And who even cares about spy defense? Not this guy. Hisweni won't join in either because they're only defensive towards me. All my friends suck. Bengal and Nagur, they would join in. But consider this, they couldn't get to me if they did not get military access through Malwa and Gujarat. I'd be on my own here, and that's never a great way to be fighting. Bengal are also a little tired. Not massively. We'll see what our friends do about this war, though. What is it they're even fighting for? Attacking Jampur and Malwani's conquest of Lord Doab. They're doing pretty abysmal at it, to be honest. Come on, you're made of firmer stuff than that. How can you be losing against an ex-bankrupt two-tech subpar insect of a nation? Well, you're managing. That's bamboozling. It's because you're not fighting as one. You 
your victories by mere chance. Okay, well, it'll break even in terms of usefulness if they make Bengal not want to fight. Jake, you have to give access to Gujarat. They already have access. So do Malwa. Oh, well, it's not too concerning. It gives me time to continue converting my land. We no longer have Wave of Devotion, so we still should focus on provinces that are in this accepted culture of ours. Which includes these two. This one's the bigger one, so let's get them. Let's get that bang for the buck while we can. Damn right, I accumulated the mushroom uh, money. Conquer East Barar. Funnily enough, I was planning on doing just that. I was, however, planning on giving it to my vassal, be a pure, because they're technologically inferior to me, so they're. Uh, their rebels would be easier to crush, but if I took it for myself... That inspiring victory, you know. For ten years. May as well. Eyes on those prize. Uh, Hesweni will join in, which is rather nice, but Hesweni is... Actually, Hesweni would be enough to ravage what's left of Bengal at the moment. Because Bengal's forces got smacked. Even once my allies came out of this war, they'd still have minus 1,000 for fighting in another war, which would not yet pull them in. My troops are going to get exiled. I should pull them out, break my military access with both of these, so that Nagur cannot get involved, and then I'm just going to smack Bachmanes so hard. I forgot I even had Biapur here. They will join in on the curb stomp, which is always very welcome. Cancel and cancel. Would they be able to walk through these guys because they have access on me? I don't think so. Eh. Why not? Let's give them a fighting chance anyway. Hiswani, you need to come in and help us out. I wish to... Hmm? Did you lose a core? You did. You lost your core on Desh. Well, at least I have a claim on it, so we can take it anyway. May as well make it the claim of East Barar, since we'll get it near instantly. Hiswani can join in. Sure, let's kick this guy to the curb. What could go wrong, right? He still has all those heavies. To no, he does not. Because I ravaged his uh, coastline. Ach, wheel, as we say. I'm able to grab his fort, even though he just uh, enabled it. I put absolutely no, fort, uh, no thought into making sure I was there before he uh, pays for it, so it's just lucky that I was not six days later in declaring war. I'm pretty bad at that. Okay, speaking of things I did not see coming. Not all that interested in fighting Malwa, Bengal decides to come along and ruin my day. There's no escape for you, is there? Oh, there is. Fascinating, but Bengal's uh, ability to fight is abysmal. Pretty sure we can take him on. Might be worth my time to get my units together here, though. Otherwise, he may just mop us up. Interestingly, he thought he could take us on. Our morale is a little shot, but our maximum morale is far better. And maximum morale dictates the morale damage you do. Get out of here. Scum. Alright, that sent them packing. They gave us a bit of a hard shock there. Nothing a few arc Arcbiziers can't solve. We'll get their provinces under occupation so they can't be recruiting more units. Otherwise, do we have an active fort here? We do indeed. Okay. Then all I really want is enough to hold it down. Otherwise... I want the rest of these provinces under control before he uh, 
makes an impact. Good lad. Jake, there's still the coastline on the western coast. Yeah, what is he going to do? I'll show you what he's going to do. He's going to die. Cheers, big ears. Alright, so Chanda is under siege by someone I could not care less about. Kind of glad that Nagur are not coming down here, because they would be some unwelcome guests. Yeah, that's an unwelcome guest, but oh well. Okay, that's just a cannon. That is nothing to worry about. Stop there for one day, prevent that unit from being made, and take over. Fun with micro. Alright, so Sweeney's taking care of some of Bengal, but I don't trust the numbers there. Sweeney have far too few units, and I did send a lot of Bengalis packing. But, at the very least, we can prevent much more uh, of the Bahmanis being an issue. Just need to mop up some of these sieges, and get our units coordinated somewhat, and show this guy what we're made of. Let's go to Chanda, it's jungles, which isn't fine, but we'll still kill him. Well, our heir will kill him. For a six military heir, I'm a bit disappointed in it. Jake, did you start this campaign today? No, I started it yesterday. Still doing alright, though, I'd say. Not an ideal battle here, especially if he's getting 17,000 reinforcements. And we have the disadvantage here in many ways. Many, many ways. But if we can somehow rout you in six days, and take a good shock roll to do that, then they'll get a river crossing and a jungle penalty. Damn, we did not. The situation does not favour us, but we'll press on anyway. At least we won't be seeing any reinforcements from them. Good. Excellent, in fact. Glorious. Jake, what's the goal of the campaign? The ca uh, the achievement that we're going for is called Buddhist Strike Back. As Ceylon, who starts out through these two provinces and being breathed on by Vijayanagar, you must conquer all of India, which is considered all of this region, which is uh, fleshy coloured here, and you must convert it all to your glorious Buddhism sect, Theravada. We're working on it. In fact, we're working pretty hard on it, and it's going very well. Uh, okay, I was tempted to engage their fleet, but maybe not when they have all those guys out there willing to ruin our day. And increase war exhaustion, but not by much. Alright, so how do we press our advantage here, other than crushing you? <clears throat> Actually... Crushing seems like the good thing to do here. Unfortunately, if I got access from Malwa, Nagur would come down and do horrible things to my day. So what do we do? We could make sure these sieges go a bit better. You know what? We are rolling in the money. Why don't I get some mercs to do that so I don't have to shoulder the uh, manpower cost? Okay, the monetary cost is one reason, but uh, we're only facing that because of our um, reinforcement costs. Okay, that'll be enough to have you going. 